chapter 3 of Numbers is all about the Levites and the priests. The Levites would be in charge of the tabernacle, kind of assisting the priests. And in this chapter, God appoints the descendants of Aaron to be the actual priests serving the Lord and the people. And the Levites, those obviously of the tribe of Levi, will work as their assistants. So Moses in chapter 3 is told to count all the male Levites. The, the whole chapter places emphasis and importance on those who serve the Lord, who honor and serve Him in the tabernacle, as priests. And sometimes people say, you know, God's not into numbers. No pun intended here. We're in the book of Numbers. But God's not into, you know, how many are in church, or God's not into who's serving, or how many attended. But over and over in Scripture, you see numbers mentioned. Jesus fed 5,000. The day of Pentecost, 3,000 are saved. 120 in the upper room are all were healed by Jesus. I think Numbers reminds us God counts people because people count. And God calls certain people for certain tasks and decisions are His, not ours. Like the Levites, they're called to serve. And so are we, called to serve the body of Christ and be the body of Christ. We all have a function to play. We're all in the body like like a human body, every part has a position, every part has a function. And so here in chapter 3, God begins to describe some of the functions and the purpose of those who are, well, set aside to serve Him. And I think it reminds us, not only does God count people because people count, but He places people in certain areas of ministry that He decides. And we're called to faithfully serve. The book of Numbers, all about serving, all about keeping separate, all about knowing and serving the Lord as the place where He decides to place us.